The Pyramid of Menkor The Pyramid of Menkor is the smallest of the three main pyramids of Giza. Who built the Pyramid of Menkor? Why is the Pyramid of Menkor the smallest of the three pyramids? How long did it take to build Pyramid of Menkor? Who tried to destroy the Pyramid Menkor? We will answer for all these questions in this video. Let's go. The Pyramid of Menkor and the Queen's Pyramids The Pyramid of Menkor is the smallest of the three main pyramids of Giza, located on the Giza Plateau in the southwestern outskirts of Cairo, Egypt. It is thought to have been built to serve as the tomb of the fourth dynasty Egyptian pharaoh Menkor. Who King Menkor and Queens Menkor was an ancient Egyptian king, pharaoh of the 4th dynasty during the Old Kingdom, who is well known under his Hellenized names Mykerinos, by Herodotus. Menkor was the son of Khafer and the grandson of Khufu, suggesting that Khafer and Khmerinebti I were the parents of Menkor. Menkor is thought to have had at least two wives, the queen, Khmerinebti II, and queen, Rekater. Menkor children, Quenra was the son of Queen, Khmerineti II. Menkor was not succeeded by Prince Quenra, his eldest son, who predeceased Menkor, but rather by Shepskaf, a younger son of this king. Sekemra is known from a statue and possibly a son of Menkor. A daughter who died in early adulthood is mentioned by Herodotus. She was placed at a superbly decorated hall of the palatial area at Sais, in a hollow gold-layered wooden zoomorphic burial feature, in the shape of a kneeling cow, covered externally with a layer of red decoration, except the neck area and the horns, that were covered with adequate layers of gold. Kentka's I, possible Menkor's daughter. The royal court included several of Menkor's half-brothers. His brothers Nidmakit, Duenra, Nikor, and Yunman served as viziers during the reign of their brother. His brother Sekemkar may have been younger than he was and became vizier after the death of Menkor. The Pyramid of Menkor Size and Construction Menkor's pyramid had an original height of 65.5 meters, 215 feet, and was the smallest of the three major pyramids at the Giza necropolis. It now stands at 61 meters, 200 feet, tall with a base of 108.5 meters, 356 feet. Its angle of incline is approximately 51 degree 2025. It was constructed of limestone and Aswan granite. The first 16 courses of the exterior were made of the red granite. The upper portion is cased in the normal manner with Tura limestone. Part of the granite was left in the rough. Incomplete projects such as this pyramid help archaeologists understand the methods used to build pyramids and temples. The pyramid's date of construction is unknown because Menkor's reign has not been accurately defined, but it was probably completed in the 26th century BC. Layout of the whole pyramid complex The pyramid complex content of Valley Temple, Causeway, Mortuary Temple, Main Pyramid and Queen's Pyramids Layout of the Menkor Pyramid from inside We have created the 3D section of the substructure to provide a clearer layout of the numerous chambers, which were excavated out of the rock. The entrance to the Pyramid Menkor was hidden for a long time, it was only discovered in 1837 by explorer Weiss. It is 4 meters high, 
towards the center of the north face. It opens onto a large corridor descending 32 meter long and leading to a room whose walls are covered with blocks of pink granite. The decoration is close to that of the palace facades. This room called panel chamber. This rectangular chamber cut from the rock contained niche decoration on all four walls, 11 on its long walls and four on its entrance walls, two each side of the doorways. At its south end a granite framed doorway gives access to the portcullis chamber just after the portcullis chamber, there are three stone harrows blocking the passage. Behind the portcullis chamber, a passage slightly slopes down to the upper chamber of 14 meters long by 3.8 meter wide and 4.8 meter high. Above this passage is another passage, which Call termed the construction passage. This tunnel was created by Vice, with the help of gunpowder, this started from the breach in the north face and terminated at the base of the pyramid. At the west end of the upper chamber, a pit has been cut in the floor and in the floor of the chamber. A descending passage leads down to the lower granite chamber and the niche chamber. The granite chamber is a fine example of the ancient Egyptians. Masonry skill in assembling and maneuvering heavy granite blocks in such a confined space. The use of granite is evident in the principal chambers of the three Giza pyramids, though in coffers it is restricted to paving surrounding the sarcophagus. It could be argued that this was a security feature to defend against robber tunnels, but it may also have had some symbolic nature that determined its use, the vast amount of granite casing applied to the pyramid would seem an unlikely security feature, but a more symbolic feature. When Vice cleared his way inside, he would find a decorated sarcophagus in the lower chamber and in the upper chamber. The remains of a wooden anthropoid coffin bearing Menkor's name. Who tried to destroy the pyramids? In AD 1196, Alaziz Uthman, Saladin's son and the Sultan of Egypt, attempted to demolish the pyramids, starting with that of Menkor. Workmen recruited to demolish the pyramid stayed at their job for eight months, but found it almost as expensive to destroy as to build. They could only remove one or two stones each day. Some used wedges and levers to move the stones while others used ropes to pull them down. When a stone fell, it would bury itself in the sand, requiring extraordinary efforts to free it. Wedges were used to split the stones into several pieces, and a cart was used to carry it to the foot of the escarpment, where it was left. Despite their efforts, workmen were only able to damage the pyramid to the extent of leaving a large vertical gash at its northern face. Goodbye. And meet one of the landmarks around the world.